Thank you. Sewer season opener. Decided to do this race uh, to practice my pack riding skill again. So this is the 530 race. So it's supposed to be for beginners. Um, so you can see I kind of start going off the front and just try to be the first person descending because um, I just need to kind of know the, know the course. I didn't get to pre-ride this course so decided to just spend a little bit of energy um, just see what the descent is like, take the line that I want to take uh, and so I can feel safe. So at this point, um, you know, it's kind of like the climbing part. I just kind of chill and I look back uh, and I just let this taco guy, guy, taco time guy, go past me. So uh, the taco, the taco time guy in front of me, his name is uh, Bailey, and he is really skillful. He just started racing this season, but you know he's doing really well, and I think he's gonna get upgraded really quickly. So this is the feature of the course. So there's this um, short climb, and but it's very punchy. So last season when I was racing this course, I made the mistake of uh, going on the outside. Uh, meaning on the right side of the road. You can see kind of the pavement difference on the, the side where I am at, uh, it's very smooth. But on the, on the right side, the pavement quality is horrible. So if you're on the right side, you're actually burning a lot of uh, power just trying to maintain the same speed. And so over here, I kind of, because uh, I've done this race last season, so I kind of know what to expect. Um, and from here, it's kind of like, it's supposed to be kind of chilling until this left corner. Um, but, so you can see Bailey t took that corner really nice. And this is the first time I took this corner, so I kind of took it wide. I didn't do as well as I hoped, but uh, I start to take this corner better and better as the race progress. So this race is kind of like, um, you, you're supposed to kind of recover during this portion and then uh, you just go hard on the climb and you just kind of do it over and over and over uh, and then you know the race will naturally make the selection. So over here um, I kind of just go past him because I want to maintain my momentum uh, but at the same time you know I don't want to be descending in the group just yet. Uh, I just needed to build up the confidence so it's a conscious decision I make. I do know that at this point I was like burning a lot of uh, watts, which is not the ideal way to race. Uh, I knew at this point I'm like still racing very stupid. But you know, it's something I need to do to gain my confidence back. So over here you can really see the, the quality <laughs> of the payment. Yeah, Bailey on the right side, he's burning a lot of watts just trying to maintain speed. But, you know, he's very powerful, as you can see. And over here, I just try to maintain my position. So during this race, I really, really try to race uh, off the front. Meaning, like, from, uh, from front of the group. I just need to, like, get used to it. So here it comes. Um, I was expecting that they're gonna slow down before they take the, the left turn, but then they kind of didn't until the last possible minute. Yeah, you can see like they're maintaining so much speed and then I'm losing a lot of uh, positions at the corner. But at the same time, I wasn't too worried because you know no one can descend as fast as the group uh, during this portion. So, so, right now we're going pretty fast, but you know, I look back, the whole group was behind me, so. Yeah, and Bailey did a lot of work off the front too. Uh, they have uh, 
their three teammates in this field. Uh, I think they did really, really well. Yeah, I feel this race, I definitely did not race efficiently. I'm trying to be active, and I think I just achieved that goal. Yeah, being in the front allowed me to feel safe enough to practice the drafting and build up confidence, uh, you know, build up the confidence to draft behind the riders around me or identify the safe riders to draft behind. So that's good. So technically I have two teammates in this race, uh, but one of them, he's pretty new, uh, Dylan. So. Uh, I think at this point he was, you know, in the back of the group, and he t later told us that he was caught behind some um, uh, some rider and kind of get gapped. So starting here, I think I'm slowly, slowly getting better at this corner, even though I'm still getting gapped off. Uh, but clearly, clearly he's not going to uh, solo off even like at this point yet. So I did both the 5.30 race and the 6.30, uh, and the 6 o'clock race. This race is only about 25 minutes. So because, you know, how short the race is, I think uh, you know, everyone was very, uh, everyone was able to use their punchiness in this race. Yeah, I think during this race, I was top 10 most of the race, which is good, which is wha exactly what I wanted to do. So right now it's a prim lap. I definitely am considering contesting for the prim. So over here I took the corner decently well because I'm not losing too much spot. And then over here I'm trying to move up. Yeah, over here, this descent, if you're in the back and if you can draft, you can pick up speed really fast. So I think at this point I'm a little too far forward. But I feel like this is what I needed to do to contest for the prem. And then at this point everyone was like kind of going hard and then that's when I realized oh I don't actually have the stampiness to to get up there. So at this point, I know I'm not going to contest for the prem, but I thought to myself that maybe they're going to roll a break. So I kind of push forward and try to you know catch on.
but to my disappointment they kind of just shut it down after the after the preem yeah even here I was like oh okay maybe they will go but then I was so easily catching back on and yeah and that's when I realized oh yeah they're just sitting up they're not really going hard yeah I think this race I definitely race not smart but I feel like that's what I needed to do because I really want to practice how to race from the front and uh, yeah try to position myself you know f f uh, at least you know be in the right position Yeah, this portion of the pavement sucks. So that's my teammate in the front, in the green. I think at one point he asked me if I'm going for the win and I said yes. So he was trying to leave me out which did not work out <laughs> as uh, expected yeah this this time the cornering was pretty decent I definitely was very very scared of this descent uh, f for a long time and uh, sorry not the descent that corner for a long time because when I was watching this race I've seen so many people wiped out uh, at that spot so that kind of made me feel like oh yeah you know I'm gonna be very uh, like I'm, go I'm not gonna crash so I'm not gonna do this race uh, it wasn't until last season I just decided to do this race and I was like oh okay may, this co the cornering wasn't too bad because everyone was expecting to slow down and then everyone was taking it with precaution so it ended up being a lot more safe than I expected I think over here we were picking up lap riders Yeah, at this point, my teammate was like, are you going to go for the win? And I said, I'm going to try. And he said that uh, he's going to try to lead me out, which I really appreciate. I wasn't sure how it's going to work out, but we've tried. Here's the second preem. Yeah, I definitely didn't take this corner as well as them. They did really, really well with the with this corner. So here I kind of have to, you know, just go hard to catch back on. I really wanted to contest for the the prim, but right now looking back, you know, at how much power I'm doing, I'm it's kind of silly. I should have just uh, 
drop back and let other people filter through instead of uh, trying to be in the front. Because I was wondering where my <laughs> where the snap in my leg go. Apparently, it's here. Yeah, I just didn't have it. Because at this point, I'm already tired. I saw your guy, man. Maybe a correct strategy would have been like, you know, shift to an easier gear during the climb. And then try to stay as easy as possible. And then. Uh, and then I can have something to jump because clearly my strategy was not working during this race so over here I thought they're gonna roll a break so I thought hey maybe I can go but again they kind of just shut it down because the group can just descend so much faster. Oh yeah, here I'm teasing this g the, the guy who was contesting for the sprint, but then I think his gear kind of got jammed up. I actually took this corner decent. I was able to just slot in. So that was good. Yeah, I feel like my confidence going around that corner has become, uh, has improved a lot throughout the race. I think there's still about three-ish minutes left. Over here, I kind of yelled at him for uh, do not just twitch to the right. Here, I got kind of pushed to the right. So I have to ride on the poor pavement, but then I'm trying to force my way back into the smooth pavement.
think after this lap, there's probably two more laps. Yep, the two lap sign is up. So at this point, I know I was like, position is going to be very important. And I still cannot take this corner as fast as uh, Bailey. And he is going hard. And I'm like, okay. Oh, well, that's stupid of me trying to go with that. And I just pull to the left and then I let the guy pull through. Yeah, I definitely remember this moment. Because I kind of thought it was silly trying to work hard during this descent. Because the group would naturally descend so much faster. And then people trying to attack on the right side. I think it's going to be way too hard. And it's also way too far out. So uh, we're about to hit one to go, and here I'm finding my own teammate. Yep, one to go. So I'm drafting my own teammate. It's going to take me through this line. It's okay. It wasn't the best. Yeah, and I kind of decide to just stay behind the wheel. Oh, I guess not. So over here, I just keep using the momentum. And then I'm like up in the front. And here is where it matters the most. So here, my teammate comes over me, and he's ready to lead me out, and he took this uh, really good effort. I told him that, hey, I'm on. I think he just ramped up a little too fast to my liking. I think at this point, if, had he kept the pace just one notch lower, I would have a better finish. So over there, he kind of sets down, so that gave me the wrong signal. I thought he was done, but he had a, somehow had a second win. So I hesitated, and then the people started going around me. And at the same time, uh, I noticed that you know I was a little too, way too tired at this point. So at this point, I definitely don't have the road to contest for the win. I think I just roll in for like, I don't know, close to the. Close to 10th place, maybe? Yeah, so that's the ending of the 5.30 sewer race. After 8 minutes of break, uh, I decided to jump into the 6 p.m. race. The 6 p.m. race is supposed to be for 3-4, uh, category 3-4. There's a lot of uh, strong ladies in the field, too. So going into this race, I my heart rate is still very elevated. Uh, I'm still pretty tired, so I definitely race a lot more conservatively, which I think is uh, to for my own benefit. So here uh, you can see because the group is such a huge group, uh, we get to descend super super fast, and it's uh, a lot easier. 
I feel like this race is a lot easier than the previous one, simply because of how big the uh, the field is. There's way more opportunity to draft. During this race, I feel more confident drafting behind people because uh, you know a lot of people here are a lot more experienced. I think I remember at this push, uh, like right now, I feel pretty tired and I was pretty worried that if I'm gonna get popped. But then I know about, you know, this portion of the, the course. They, everyone's supposed to be kind of slowing down, waiting for their turn. Yeah, I took this turn wide this time, but because of, there's so many people, I get to, uh, you know, get in the trap decently quickly. For this corner, I definitely took it better and better as the race progresses as well. Over here, the whole group slowed down, and I think there is a group up the road. But at the same time, I I'm definitely not <laughs> chasing anything because my goal for this race is just to uh, try to s finish with the pack. See how I take this corner. Okay, because um, everyone was kind of slowing down. Yeah, if you're not in the front taking the corner fast, uh, you just kind of have to do a mini sprint out of the corner to catch on the draft. But it's pretty easy to, uh, to catch the, the front during this descent just because the group, how fast the group descends. Here I'm anticipating trying to be in the left side so I can take the smoother pavement.
I think the power uh, during this particular race, uh, right now the power on the left side, the data is maybe like one to two seconds ahead of the video. I think it was at this point I kind of figured out this corner because you can see I been consistently taking the inside line from this point on unless I was in the outside and I was able to pass people and use a lot less watts this descent is very very bumpy I was actually very happy about uh, this apex guy in front of me he's such a good draft later on I kind of just draft off his wheel a lot Yeah, basically every live is like a VO2 max workout up this hill. Yeah, I was able to take the inside line again. That was good. Yeah, if a few laps earlier, I was going like 700 watts out of this corner, and this time I was only like 400 watts out of the corner. So that's improvement. And I also get to like pass people too. I was always paying attention to the uh, to the lap count and the timer every time we pass it. I remember like 10 minutes in, I was like, whoa, <laughs> we were 10 minutes in. Because uh, part of me was thinking like, okay, you know, maybe I get to stay in for like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll p pull myself out. But then 10, 15 minutes in, I was like, oh, I'm actually... I don't feel terrible. Like over here, maybe I could have like moved up a lot more 
on the right side but then I really don't want to because I just want to stick to the pavement on the left side because on that smoother pavement you get to save so much power yeah someone on my right side he, something happened to his wheel I think at this point like I was probably at the near the end of the pack because a lot of the guys they're they all kind of got dropped anyone that's behind me I think it's all mostly dropped Yeah, like I'm taking smoother and smoother uh, corners. It's good to see. One thing about this race is uh, sometimes other uh, riders from other fields will just jump in for a few laps and pull themselves out. It kind of it's kind of confusing because you know, make the field at one time seems way bigger than it actually was. Like later on in the race, there's a few uh, guys from the seven o'clock race. They just hop in for a few laps. I was definitely very confused when I saw them. I was really struggling over here. My heart rate is really high. But luckily we get to recover during this short descent. Yeah, this Apex guy, he is such a good draft. There are a few times I always thought that I'm going to drop him uh, or he's going to get popped during the climb. Uh, but he somehow was able to crawl, uh, crawl himself back uh, and then, you know, pull me back to the group during the descent, which is great. Without him, I definitely wouldn't have finished with the pack. Maybe it was at this point or maybe like a few laps earlier. I had a strange feelings in my leg. And what I stopped feeling tired, but at the same time like it's not like my legs are fresh. It's almost like my legs just lost the feeling of feeling tired. It was a really weird feeling. I can just kind of push the power up the climb.
can see in the front there is a group uh, and then there's a gap and then there's a field um, so I'm definitely in the tail end of the group but the nice part about uh, this race is at this point like it's the row kind of pitches up so when the group slow kind of slow down a little we still have a lot of momentum from the back to uh, to catch on This Audi guy, his bike is like, I don't know, very crunchy. Has a very crunchy sound every time when he passes me. I think the right thing I did this whole race was uh, never let the wheel go and being able to draft during the descent is so important it helps me many times to uh, catch back to the group over here I kind of made an effort because I feel like these guys are all kind of fading and just when I'm about to put down some serious watts and thank god the whole field kind of slowed down And I get to the side that I like the most, the left side, and just kept pushing on. Just like that, I'm back to the men's group. Definitely didn't take as good of a corner over there. I think maybe it was at this point like I feel like my back was killing me because I was uh, I was biking hard for the past like almost an hour and every time we go down the descent I was in my uh, drops and yeah I feel like my my back was really sore which I had to get out of the saddle here to uh, kind of relax a little bit
I was on the outside, so this time. here finding my way back to the left side this must be one of the print lab or something because uh, everyone's going pretty hard That was a that was a pretty good inside corner there. At this point we are like halfway into the race. Yeah, I guess like this is kind of like how the race went. Um, I do remember there was a crash at this corner it's the only crash during this race later in the race there was someone that uh, clipped the pedal on the climb but generally this race was pretty safe So even at this point, I was still like feeling just, you know, trying to hang on kind of mode. I definitely find a groove, find a flow of the race, just kind of punch, punch, punch on the climb, recover on the descent, and then rinse and repeat.
And this race is definitely a race of attrition. You're just, you know, slowly shedding people with each lap. Yeah, there's a crash over here. I was able to avoid it, luckily. And then, thanks to the guy that was uh, in front of me, they were able to pull me back to the group during the descent. I was definitely lucky. I definitely briefly thought about like, okay, maybe I should pull out at that point, but then I quickly killed it, that thought and just like, nope, I gotta keep going. It's gonna be good for my, good for my mindset. So clearly at this point, you know, we're pretty far back and uh, off, we're off the back. Uh, but these guys in front of me, they're all really, really good engines. Uh, and even though it looks like I'm pretty far from them right now, but I'm still able to catch a decent draft. And yeah, I think at this point we somehow got caught, somehow uh, caught back onto the group. I definitely recognize here, like I gotta go hard, um, or else you know we're never gonna make it back to the group. And I'm glad I'm di I did. So I think this is the main field. Yeah, there might be like a few guys up ahead, but this is definitely the main field. Not the ideal line through this corner. It's really hard to pedal on this corner, uh, on this descent, because the road is very, very bumpy. So yeah, I was able to use some momentum to catch back onto the group. I think at this point we are I think I was looking at the lap counter and we already finished more than uh, maybe like equal the length as the previous race so I was definitely pretty happy about that I definitely think at this point of the race, I got, I feel a lot more comfortable with this turn by taking the inside line. I was like cutting the apex and then go, uh, maybe that one wasn't the best example, but I was able to still pass a lot bunch of people. Yeah, back there I didn't want to like touch the brake, so I just kind of, I don't want to waste my momentum. So I kind of just keep pushing and I move up quite a bit of spot, which is great. So it's, I did a, almost like a set climbing over here. So I get to, again, 
push down the power, try to maintain my positions. But you know, they're definitely stronger riders slowly passes me. But I'm still able to maintain contact with the group. Yeah, I guess this is kind of like a mini set climb. Like, had they just kept pushing, I'm, I'm definitely going to get dropped because my heart rate is already pretty high. But thank God that here is a little descent and then get to carry the momentum and then setting up for the corner. Everyone kind of just sits up. So, yeah. Here, again, taking the inside line. So during this race, if you get dropped, uh, you're still allowed to jump into the race. Um, you're just not allowed to contest the finish as well as the prime. Uh, but again, it makes it really hard for me to know who are the lab riders and who are the who are the riders that are still in contention. But it doesn't matter because my goal is again coming out here to practice, and I definitely achieve my goal. I definitely feel really comfortable drafting behind people, um, and. Maybe even, dare I even say, back to the, the pre-crash level? Maybe not. Because of this hairpin, you get to see where the front of the, the group is, which is kind of nice. So I, I know I'm still in the group. Okay, I remember this part. So this descent, this lady took a really scary line. I think here is where I kind of mess up, not in terms of tactically, but in terms of uh, mentally. Uh, I kind of saw certain riders as, oh, over here, it's crazy. So the guy on the left side in blue, he clipped his pedal onto the curb and he almost went down. And yeah, that was, that was, a, that was scary. I kind of, uh, going back to the, the messing up part, I kind of, saw certain local rider they're you know locally famous they're pretty fast i kind of recognize them as like almost like uh, i kind of mark them if you will so when, whenever i saw that i'm right behind them i feel like okay yeah that's good um but i should have not i should not have treated them differently i should not have anchored them i should still try to do a race and like, I just still feel the, I just still try to pass them and, you know, move to a good position instead of feeling content, just staying behind them. It's just something for me to work on in the future. Because uh, during this portion of the race, there's a few parts, a, a few times I was able to 
des uh, descend and then use my momentum and get to pretty far uh, up into the group. But as soon as I see those riders, and I just kind of shut it down, which I definitely shouldn't have. So the guy in front of me right now, this is uh, someone from the 7 o'clock race, but he just decided to jump in for a few laps, which, you know, was very confusing for me. Again here, I thought I was going to get dropped. But knowing the course is definitely <laughs> really helpful. That was a decent corner. I kind of gave some space. Yeah, over here the group kind of fanned out. It means like everyone's descending really, really fast. Kind of run out of room to go. I had to kind of touch the brakes a little. Yeah, this hill is just long enough for me to uh, use my punchiness but also not too long that I completely fade out. I think someone took my line uh, from the inside. That's why I kind of, kind of side. Yeah, even at this point, I was like, I was pretty shocked that I'm still here. I'm still in the group. It was such a confidence booster.
Yeah, I don't take this outside line well. I always lose a lot of speed. Over there, I kind of have to swing out uh, so I don't waste my momentum. I don't want to touch the brake. And when I, I thought about going inside, but there's no room to keep moving forward. So I swing, swing out wide. And then over here, I, again, trying to be on the left side. Because the left side, you kind of hug the, uh, the curb, and it's a shorter path anyway. So you, you definitely save a lot of energy. Yeah, here it's pretty cool. Like I am, s I feel like here I'm starting to feel better and better uh, because I'm still in the group. Uh, the confidence is off the chart. I already set up. Um, I already exceeded my own expectation over here. I think this is the last lap. Yeah, the nerve definitely kind of set in. Like, oh wow, it's last lap already. It was a really surreal experience. Because I feel like you know, at the beginning of the race, I was still feeling like maybe I can't even finish. Maybe I'm going to get dropped. And over here, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm still here. Uh, over there, I had a choice of following the Taco Time rider, but I really don't want to take any risks. Yeah, I definitely should should uh, be more motivated to move up. Um, I should have, but on the climb is really hard. On the climb, you just kind of have to like fight for positions. And then I think at this point, I'm like pretty cooked. I cannot match their acceleration. Like my heart rate is like already in the 180s, and I think at this point, I'm like really fading hard. So. Yeah, and I th think maybe it's like finished like 30th or something. I don't know. There's like, looks like 20 ish people in front of me. There you go. There's the, the end of the 6 o'clock race. Yeah, overall, I was definitely very, very happy. So I'm definitely going to do this race again. Um, I'm really, really surprised. Uh, exceeded a lot of my expectations. Um, yeah, that's it.